Hello, my name is Kiran Kumar Dharamsut from Kristram Technologies, IIT Kanpur. Today, I am going to show you how to install Kristram's battery-powered ultrasonic flow meter, which is also same for the AC-powered flow meter. First of all, Kristram's ultrasonic flow meter monitors water flow rate and net discharge in real time for pipes in both industries and domestic applications. Our flow meter is compact, robust, and has no moving parts and designed to work in harsh climatic conditions. The flow meter is based on ultrasonic transit time principle. It uses sound waves to resolve the velocity of the liquid within a pipe. It has two transducers that function as both an ultrasonic transmitter and receiver in both directions, that is upstream and downstream. The difference in transit time measured is directly proportional to the velocity of the flow. Knowing all these parameters and the pipe cross-section, our flow meter is able to measure the total liquid flow in the pipe. Krishnam's flow meter would be delivered in a wooden crate or a cardboard carton, which is securely packed for safe transportation. Inside the crate, you will find a documentation package containing installation and operation manual. You will also be provided with login credentials for viewing data on an online dashboard. Our flow meter is shipped fully assembled and is ready for immediate installation into your piping. It can be installed in all types of pipes like cast iron pipes, PVC, stainless steel pipes, rigid copper pipes, etc. Our flow meter comes with an inbuilt IoT application which helps in data transmission over the cloud. There are some safety conditions to consider before installation. For successful ultrasonic flow meter installation, locate the flow meter in a sheltered position away from falling water. During installation, care must be taken to ensure that the end fittings of the meter are not stressed during use. Install the device away from the valves, regulator bends and other components that could cause excessive turbulence on the fluid entering or leaving the meter. Ideally, the meter should be installed with straight lengths of pipe on either side for a distance of 10 pipe diameters upstream and 5 pipe diameters downstream. Coming back to installation, this is our in-house demo installation setup. The flow meter comes with a flange on either side. If the pipe which needs to be installed with a flow meter is continuous and does not have required flanges, then the flanges of the required size first need to be installed in the pipeline. In order to achieve the above, the pipe needs to be cut and fitted with flanges. Converters are required to fix the flow meter for dissimilar piping sizes. Our flow meter can be installed in both horizontal and vertical pipelines. Orient the flow meter so that the flow through the pipe is in the same direction as the arrow located underneath the device. Place a gasket against the flange in the piping. When all bolts are installed, tighten them. Make sure that there are no leakages and all the bolts are tightened securely. The ultrasonic flow meter installation is now complete and ready to measure the flow. Now you can safely open the flow. The button of the meter has two functionalities. If you press the button once, it will show the total flow of water in liters. If you press the button twice, it will show the real-time flow of water in liters per second. Online dashboard for accessing your data. Let me explain you how to access data on an online dashboard. So you have to enter the web address that is portal dot critsnum.in when you click enter you will be taken to our portal that is critsnum you will be asked to enter username and password username and password both will be provided to you uh, right now i am using a demo uh, user id uh, when you click on login you will be taken to a dashboard page so this is how it looks like uh, uh, it's very simple it's basic you can access it easily uh, these are the links to your assets devices and dashboards so let's say if you have a device and you want to see the data online then you click on this these are all uh, demo devices Let's say if you want to see data for this particular dashboard, you click on it and uh, this is how it looks. It's very simple. You uh, will be seeing a timestamp that is at what time and what date the data is recorded and sent to the cloud. 
see uh, this is the time exact time and this is the cumulative volume of liquid flown in liters if you can see uh, there is a difference of one hour uh, in timestamp this is how it records how it measures and sends data to the cloud uh, for every particular time there is uh, a data a reading shown in liters uh, and here you can see the cumulative volume graphical representation like uh, this is how it looks if you kind of see it on the horizontal axis you see the date or the day uh, and see how this is exponentially increasing your consumption and uh, on the vertical axis you can see cumulative volume in liters and uh, uh, this is uh, data for your hourly consumption uh, this particular time uh, uh, for this hour, this particular one hour, uh, the hourly consumption is 724 liters and uh, this is how your hourly consumption graphical plot looks like. Basically dashboard of a device consists of all the data tables and plots. Uh, it's kind of very easy to understand. And, uh, this is this particular thing is for the daily consumption and you will be also given a graphical representation for all the measurements all the readings for your flow meter this is how your dashboard looks like so you can access data it's very easy if you want to uh, see the data for another device you just click here then you will be taken to the particular page particular device uh, this is the same you have timestamp cumulative volume and the graphical representations hourly consumption and its representations it's kind of very simple to use very handy and if you kind of face any difficulties in accessing the dashboard you can always feel free to call us contact us thank you